Okay, cool. So the concept here is you want to find small things within your day-to-day -day processes or operations that you can introduce automation to to make your life a little bit easier one step at a time. So I'm going to show you how to build an FAQ email template using the Infusionsoft Campaign Builder. Now, if you don't use Infusionsoft, you can probably do the same functionality we're about to cover using one of the other marketing platforms out there, but I'm going to show you using Infusionsoft. So you'll start by creating a campaign and go ahead and call it FAQ templates or FAQ campaign, something of that nature. The campaign opens with a blank canvas, so you want to begin by grabbing a goal. You can use any goal, but I'm going to use this one here because it looks like I'm writing an email. And then I recommend using a naming convention that includes the letters FAQ. So FAQ pricing, for example, or FAQ location, whatever it is that the common questions that you answer time and time again are. The next thing you want to do is set the goal setting. So click on that little colored badge in the corner and go ahead and select from this drop down applies a note. So the way that this goal will be triggered is when a user applies the note template FAQ pricing. Now I'll go ahead and set up this note template. You can follow along or pause the video to set yours up. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on sequences over here and bring out a sequence and set it a few squares to the right of that goal. Once you've connected them, you can then label your sequence pricing email. So to be clear, the goal is what's triggering this campaign. You'll apply this note template, which will launch that contact into the subsequent sequence. Now what happens in that sequence is up to you. But presumably, if they just asked for details about your pricing scheme, you probably want to have an email in here that includes details about the pricing scheme. So this is where you can spend the time crafting an email that you're going to use time and time again, so that you know it's got all of the pertinent pieces, all of the valuable details that you would have sent out anyway. You're just setting it up ahead of time so that it scales and you can use it for future um, inquiries. Once you've written the email, and spend a little bit of time crafting it so that it conveys the voice you want and the message that you need, go ahead and mark it from draft to ready, and then go back to the sequence. You might choose to introduce a timer in here. So if they ask you for details about pricing, you might decide that you want to send that email maybe with a five minute delay, so that it appears you took the time to really craft it up yourself. This isn't to be deceitful necessarily, it's simply because they'll probably perceive the message as more valuable if they believe that you took the time to write it yourself. So what I've done is just put a five minute delay here. Now if I happen to use that note template during the middle of the night, I've also got it waiting till a more appropriate time of day. Then mark this sequence as ready and go back to your campaign. Now, this campaign is pretty much ready to go. You might choose to clone what we have here for your other FAQ questions. In fact, it's not a bad idea to have five or six of these at the ready for the things that you uh, answer most regularly. Let's go ahead and click Publish. Okay, so now this campaign is ready to use. Let's find a contact. We'll use me, that's fine. And the way that you trigger it is simply clicking on notes, select add a note, and then from this list choose the FAQ we just created. You can see I've got a couple of other FAQs in here from other campaigns that I was leveraging in the past, but we'll use FAQ pricing. And if you want, you can customize the creation notes, maybe paste in the copy of their inquiry, and go ahead and click save. Now that note has been applied, and over here on the Campaigns tab, you'll see that the recent campaign history includes the FAQ pricing, and five minutes from now, it has scheduled up the FAQ pricing email to be delivered. By automating simple steps like this, you might only save two or three minutes at a time, but for the things that you do several times a week, that time adds up, and you can get back to spending your time focusing on the things that you're best at and most passionate about. Good luck!